I'm going to do some monoprinting today. On this piece of paper, uh, which is quite a thick piece of paper, I've rolled out some red oil paint, which is soluble, Winsor Newton soluble oil paint. I did this a couple of days ago, so that's now dry. I'm now going to roll out some white. Um, here it is, this lovely stuff. This has been going for years, this one. That's great, because you don't even need to put the lids on it. It still keeps working. Right, so I'm going to blob a bit of that in the middle. And I'll spread it out. Get it as even as possible. I don't want it to be too thick, nor do I want it to be too thin. Oh, there's a lovely smell of this. My house has been smelling really nice lately. I've got uh, oil paints going. There we go. Right, someone trying to get through on my phone. Whoops. Right. So I've now got supposedly white paint, just a bit on the pink side. And then I've drawn a very simple cat shape. And I'm just going to place it on there, like so. I'm going to get something exciting, if I can find them. My box of scrapers. Now, I like to use one like this for something like this. This is something I got when I was doing cake making. So I'm just going to go over those lines firmly. I could have done it with a pen, pen I suppose. And up, turn around. There we go. And hopefully, I've done the whole thing. One, two, three. There you go. So that's got my image down quite easily. Now I'm going to do what I really enjoy doing, and that is a bit of scraping. I've got all sorts of tools which have been collected over the years. It can be anything from a spoon, um, lino cutting tools. Um, not too sure what this one is, but it works really well. So I'm going to do a little bit of scraping out. And we're going to have a tabby cat. Now for me, this is a little bit wet. So what I will do is have... Um, some cloth on hand to um, there we go, a piece of paper to scrape the excess off. Let's see if I've got a better scraper. I've got so many here. Oh, this is quite a nice one. Unfortunately, I've drawn the back of him, haven't I? So I can't even put the face in. That's a shame. Never mind. I always like to do, when we did life drawing, I always loved doing the backs. Much more interesting. You can imagine what the front's like. I'll just give that a little clean. When I first started doing this, I used to just use a cocktail stick, because that's all I had. And I found that I could scratch into the oil paints for about a day. And after that, it started getting very dry. So there is a time limit to this. Now I'm going to come around the tail. You remember those scraper boards you used to be able to buy? Days gone by, black, and you would have sharp knives and scrape in and get the white. This is a similar thing. So there's my cat. And let's see what other tools I've got. This is another favourite. So again, I think this is a pastel sharpener. 
but we don't worry about things like that. All I care about is what it will do for me. I never sharpen pastels. Put them on a mat. And this one I can get quite a lot of, so I can make it quite dark. Just cleaning my knife off. If you haven't got, uh, oh, I don't know, what would you use if you didn't have these? You could use ordinary old-fashioned oil paints. Um, but you'd have to clean everything up with turps. With this, I could just clean everything up with water. Um, you can use oil pastel sticks by colouring in one layer and then putting another layer on top. It's not quite as effective as this. So, I only started using oil paints because I couldn't afford printing blocks, printing paint, ink. And also in those days, it was before we used the internet and it was what I could go and get from the shop down the road. There we go. One cat on a mat. Oops, got a bit smudged. Go back over that. There we go. It's even fixable. <laughs> 